Hey everyone, we've had a request from you guys to do a video on how to construct a presentation deck. These are used all the time in the industry as a neat way to show your thoughts. A lot of people can get sucked into spending ages on these and missing out on valuable thinking time. So we're going to show you today two quick types of deck that look smart and won't take forever to do. Let's start with the most obvious part, a border. We've said it before and we'll say it again, it just helps your ideas look smart. We're doing ours in yellow, as the brand we're creating this deck for has a yellow logo so it feels like it's for them. The first stage you want to start with is the body copy of your idea, which hopefully by this stage you've got. The reason for starting here is we can see how much space the words take up, and it'll help us position everything else. You want to keep your body copy at size 12 if you can, then it's easy to see on screen and print it out. If your idea has a big explanation, it's worth trying it split across two columns. It makes it more appealing to read than one huge never-ending block of copy. After you've got something you're happy with, you can position it on the page. Middle, far left, far right, it's up to you. But just make sure once you've chosen, you're consistent throughout. You're trying to make some rules for your deck to help it feel smart and organized. InDesign has a lot of features to help you align the copy. So just experiment and find something you like. After this, get the name of your idea on the page. You want to make it bigger and bolder than your body copy. It should be a short, punchy line that sums up your idea. Feel free to underline this or keep it clean, again, it's down to the style you want to go for. Now you've got all that in place, you'll want to bring some images onto the page, whether these be reference images, scamps you've scanned in, or a mood board. One method is to just drag them straight in and position them wherever it sits nicely. An alternative option is to use the rectangle frame tool in InDesign. Set this up into a position or positions that you're happy with, and then bring the images in. From this, you can select the image you've placed inside this box and move it around to a crop you're happy with. And this way, you don't lose any of the image if you change your mind later on. Once these elements are in, you're just on to finishing touches. Perhaps the client logo in a corner, or if they have a brand graphic that could sit nicely in the background on a low opacity. These bits aren't essential, but if you've got the time, they can really add a nice touch to your decks. The other method of building a deck that works especially well if you've got some strong imagery to support your ideas is the full bleed deck. Start in the same way as before, with body copy and headline, but then choose one key image that will fill your entire page. From this you may have to reposition your copy to find a natural space in your image. If that doesn't quite do it, you can add a black fill layer over the page and lower its opacity. Make sure the copy is above this layer and it will stand out more against the image. There we have it, two quick methods for building a presentation deck. Remember, you're not a designer, you should be focusing on the ideas themselves, so just find a deck style that's easy for you to work with and allows a creative director to easily read your ideas and understand your thoughts. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe.